In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the monetization features of Listing Pro. There are a number of ways to monetize Listing Pro, including ad placements such as Spotlight, Top of Search, and Sidebar. With Listing Pro, you can also integrate Google AdSense and sell ad space on your site. Plus, you can also make money from paid subscription plans, which allow listing owners more functionality. We've covered some of this in previous videos. In this video, I'm also going to show you an extra less known way to monetize your site. This is our fourth video in the Listing Pro series. If you haven't checked out our other three, there'll be a playlist at the end of the video. And just before we get started, I'd like to thank everyone that's watched and liked our last couple of videos. We only started this series two weeks ago, and at that time, we only had two subscribers. Now, let's get into it. This is going to be a fun one where I show you these multiple ways you can make money from all the hard work you've put in to building your Listing Pro directory. Okay, so let's take a look at search and listing monetization. If we look at our directory here, we can see that we're not running any any ads in the in the features. And if we go to our listings, we can see we're not running any ads on the listing search. And if we go into one of these, also there's no ads anywhere down the, the, the sidebar. So with that said, let's jump over to our admin panel and set this up. So the first thing you want to do is go to theme options and down to ads and then we're going to select pay per day we're going to make sure the spotlight ads on the side of listing ads on and also the top of search is on and we'll go through what these are shortly for the purpose of the exercise uh, we're just going to set the spotlight price per day as a dollar the side listing as a dollar and the top of search listing for a dollar. So for each day these ads run, it will cost the listing owner a dollar. So we're looking at $3 a day, plus here we're in Australia, so it's gonna add 10% GST. So $3.30 a day to run the spotlight ads, the side of listing ads, and the top of search ads. Okay, so the next step is we go over to our listing as a listing owner. As a listing owner, you can go into your dashboard. So we're gonna go in here and set up an ad for one of the claimed listings. To do that, we just head down to Ad Campaigns and we'll hit Add New. Now, this is where we'll pick a listing. And remember, this is uh, a demo site, so I have access to all the listings. I'm gonna type in um, Blood Orange. It's a local cafe. I'm gonna set this campaign just to run for two days for the purpose of this exercise. And now you get to choose the ad placements. So the spotlight, that's on your main page. The top of search, that will be at the top of the search when someone does a search like for one of the services, restaurants, cafes, that type of thing. And the sidebar, that's when you're looking at the listing detail, it will be down the side. So we're just gonna tick each of these. And I'm gonna pay with PayPal, I'll accept the conditions. And keep in mind, this is the listing owner. They've claimed their listing and now they want to advertise on the directory. This is what they are doing. And I'll hit pay now. So now that we've processed the payment for the listing, as the admin of the listing directory, you'll see a ad has been placed on the directory. And to see what ads are running on the directory, you just come back over to the admin and click on ads. And we can see here, this is the ad that's running for the Blood Orange food store. So we can take a look at this ad. You can see that the spotlight ad is running, the sidebar ad's running, and the top of search is running. The mode is in pay per day. It's gonna run for two days. The total budget is $6 plus 10% GST, $6.60. So that's paid and up and running. Now, if we wanna take a look at the ad, we just head over to the directory. If we just do a quick refresh of our directory, so we're not seeing any ads here. We'll, we'll see if we can fix that in a moment. Let's take a look at the top of listing. Okay, so you can see here now that top of listing, we've got Blood Orange Food Store. So that's now coming up at the top. It's doing what we want it to do. And we should have a sidebar ad running. But if we scroll down, we can see that that's actually not in place yet. So let's fix a couple of these things to get the ads running in the places that they should be. So first of all, we'll just go back to our admin. 
we'll go to the home page and edit with Elementor. So to get our ad running on the home page, once we're into the Elementor editor, we just type in ads here and we can see this listing pro ad listing. And what we might do in this example is we might just drag that down to this bottom section here. And then we're going to restrict this to two listings and then we're going to set this to boxed. You can pick whichever way works for you, but I think boxed and maybe something like that. So let's do the update here. If we go back over to our directory and do a refresh and scroll down, we should see our ad running. And there we go. Light Orange Food Store, the ad's now running on the main page. Now you can you can move that up if you want it to be up the top. You can just grab it here and we'll just run this up to the top somewhere. And there we go, we've just moved it up the front. We will update that. Come across here, do another refresh. And there you have it, our ad's now running at the top. But that doesn't fix our other problem where it's not showing on the listing details page. And to fix that, what we need to do is head back over to our admin panel. Once we're back on the admin panel, we'll just scroll down to appearance and we'll go to widgets. And what we want to do is we want to add a widget to the listing details sidebar. And we're just going to hit the add. And we can see this one here. If we search for an ad, it's got listing pro ads detail. We're going to drag that across to here. And I'm going to limit this to two. We'll hit update. Okay, so what that has done is added the ads to the listing detail that wasn't previously there. So if we go back to our directory and we do a refresh, we should have all three of our ads running now. So we've got the one, the spotlight at the, the top of the home page. If we do a search, say, for coffee shop, we should see blood orange at the top of listing. So that ad's now running correctly. If I go into Hello Sailor here, even though we're in a the competitor's coffee shop, if we scroll down, now we can see the blood orange ad running on this page here as well. So I hope that has explained how you can set up the various listing and, and search ads. Okay, just to round out this section, I've gone back into the ads and added an additional ad. So if we just go to edit and take a look at it, I've set up this ad for Nexus and it's gonna be a spotlight ad and a sidebar ad. If we go back to our directory and take a look, We've got our original ad running here, which is the Blood Orange Food Store. But if I go refresh, you'll see now that the ad is alternating. Because we restricted this to one ad at a time, every time the browser is refreshed or a new visitor visits the directory, the ad will rotate. So you could have two or three ads appearing, and if there was nine ads running, they would just keep rotating through. The other area to take a look at here is if we go back to, say, search for a coffee shop, if we hit on this one here, and scroll down previously had one ad showing in the widget we had it set to show no more than two ads and so that just demonstrates how that works so that rounds out the section on these types of ads next we're going to take a look at the google adsense and another trick so let's take a look at google adsense basically if you've got your listing pro directory all set up you have the ability to sell some real estate to google and in return they will pay you the first step is to get yourself a google adsense account and it could take a couple of days because they will go and review your directory and make sure it meets their minimum requirements and they're all happy with it and once that's done they'll approve you and give you a couple of options of how you want to show but at the end of the day really what it is it's an insert of some html into your directory in a spot we're going to show you in a minute and it allows these ads to run but rather than go through the stock standard process just on google adsense and i know there's other videos being done on this i'm going to take a look at a very similar approach but with affiliates so there are a few downsides to going with google adsense one is when people click on the ad they're going to move away from your site but the other is you're not really sure what kind of ads are going to appear on your directory if you're going to sell real estate on your directory there's probably not much you can do about the clicking away but what you can do is potentially control what your visitors are going to see and one way of doing that is to sign up with an affiliate and get a commission for promoting their product so i've just gone in and set up a an affiliate with get response uh, an email autoresponder 
tool and with get response it allows you to insert the html into your site to run ads on your directory or website so just in this example we've gone into the get response and i have chosen an ad size of 728 by 90 and there's a few different ads you can choose from here as you can see but today i'm going to go with this one here so now within our affiliate program we've chosen which ad we want to run we just select choose and that will update the html we go down here and we hit copy code and just as a side note this process is basically exactly the same from this point on whether we're using google adsense or an affiliate we're really just getting this html code and we're going to put it into our listing directory so once back on our listing directory we just go to theme options go down to google adsense we're going to paste this code in here we're going to paste it in here and this will get these ads running on two areas of our site which i'll show you just now so we'll hit save changes to update the site we'll go back over here and refresh our site and to see the ads we'll just go to they do a search and here you can see this banner ad that we picked here is now running here and the other area of the ad shows if we go into the listing detail we can see it here so that is how you can generate income from either Google AdSense if you want to sign up with Google or with an affiliate. It's up to you. Just to wrap up this video, we're going to take a quick look at the pricing plans. If you're not familiar with what this is, we did another video on it previously and I'll put a link up above. What this is all about is if you're running a directory on say cafes or restaurants, a new business may want to add their business to your listing and they do that by hitting add listing. When they do that, depending on how you've set it up, they might get something that looks like this, a free listing, a $99 listing or 198. And that's basically say for a free, a basic and a premium. And as you might expect, the free listing has limited features and then the basic has more features and the premium has the lot. You can configure this by going over to the admin panel, heading down to pricing plans, and here you've got the free, the basic, the premium. As we've looked at this in previous videos, this is where you've got a lot of configuration options. If you take a look at the options, say in the free plan, as you might expect, there's only a few features that are turned on. If we go back to pricing plans and hit on, say, the basic one, you can see we've got a lot more configurable items activated. So that gives more value to the, to the listing owner. That really takes us to the end of this video if there's anything i've overlooked or you'd like more detail on just put a comment below and i'll come back to you see you in the next video